Corningware unboxing in a very long time. I saw these on eBay. I got this for the price of one of the used ones. I couldn't believe it. I think it's Pyroceram. Range oven microwave. I could put this on the stove. It's pretty. Oh. Boy, they... Corningware made some pretty freaking cool stuff, didn't they? Oh, it's a little greasy. It's vintage grease. Okay, so these are these are little indents. Oh, that's funny. That's funny. I thought there would be bumps, but it's completely smooth on the underside. And these are indented. MC1C. Corningware MC1B. Now these feet might be a problem on the stove. I wonder if they overshoot the little burner. It might be fun to put it on the stove. Oh, it's pretty. Isn't that one attractive corningware frozen dinner dish? To cook frozen dinners and vegetables in microwave ovens, remove frozen block of food from package. Place in fast food dish. Cook in microwave oven according to package directions. We've got some stuffed green peppers. That looks like lasagna. And I think I see celery mushrooms and pasta. And let's see if there's paperwork. Paperwork. Corningware microwave fast food dishes. Oh, I hope there's a date. Corningware fast food dishes with Pyrex brand glass cover can be taken directly from the refrigerator or freezer to a microwave or conventional oven. Without covers, the small corningware fast food dish can be used in a toaster oven. Feed on the bottom of the dishes and indentations on the glass cover make stacking. Oh, stacking. The indentations are for stacking. That's pretty cool. Is there a date? Come on. Ah, there's a date! 978. Wow, it's older than I thought. I was thinking 80s. 978. How cool is that? I have to find a frozen meal that will fit in here. We're going to do a test run. Boy, what a cute little dish. I really like this. To be safe, I'd want four and a half. Four and a half by six. I'm going to go to the store, pick out some frozen food. I don't know if it'll fit. We'll do as they say. We'll follow the package directions and cook something in it. I'll see you at lunchtime. To be continued. Unfortunately, most of the frozen meals looked too big. You know, maybe the meals were smaller in 1978. I know that there's a plastic rim around the dish, but most of these just measured too big. This was the smallest one. Leave film on tray, do not vent. That's good. Oh no, we don't have to worry about it. I, that means, do not vent. That means I don't have to tilt the lid a little bit. Cook three minutes on high. Peel back corner of film. <laughs> to vent, cook another four minutes. 50% 50, 50 power. Let's stand one minute. Oh, like that. There you go. See, that opened easy, unlike those sweet earth boxes. Now it is small. Let's do it anyway. All right. 
Oh, came out easy. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, well, you know. All right. Three minutes on high. I like it, though. It's not, it's not hot. Now we have to vent it. There you go. Four minutes. Power level five. Go. I can smell it. It smells good. Oh. Let it sit for one minute. I think I would like to try cooking some stuffed bell peppers in this. It's a very attractive dish. I'm glad I got it. Let's take the lid off. Can I do that? Can I get the lid off? Oh! An exercise in futility! Let's eat some. I don't think I need a knife. 1978, fast food dish. Here we go. Oh, ha! Mmm. Mmm. Ah. They do make a good lasagna, Stouffer's. Let's get a piece of pasta. You know, it does look good. I'm having deja vu. Shoot. I'm having deja vu. We didn't do this before. I didn't own this before. Hmm. I gotta say, there's something about eating it out of a corningware. It tastes better. I'll give it that. It tastes good. We like Stouffer's lasagna. It's better than that cauliflower mac. By the way, while I was at Walmart, I saw another vegan cauliflower mac. We might have to try it. Oh, I like it. Cheesy. Cheesy! Thanks for joining me this Tuesday. You know what I'm going to say? What am I going to say? Thanks for watching.